Welcome insiders to Inside News, I'm your host Eric. Today is October 19th, 2015. Let's get started with some news after the intro. Alright, so first up in Inside News, last year, Lenovo came out with the Yoga 3 Pro. This is an ultra-portable laptop that is interesting because it can be a laptop, but they can flip the screen around to the back, and basically it becomes somewhat of a tablet. And although this was a rather interesting, rather cool laptop, it was a little bit impractical due to the poor battery life not so great build quality and also the lack of performance but this year Lenovo has outdone themselves with the Yoga 900. This laptop has a brand new design that shouldn't be creaking or anything when you switch the screen around. It also has better performance with the new i5 and i7 processors. It's going to have up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, any SSD configuration you want, a great quality screen. This might be an ultra portable laptop that you might want to take a look at. Moving on though, have you ever heard of Waze? Hope I'm saying that right, but Waze is a GPS app, but it's different than Google Maps and different than Apple Maps. And the reason why it's different is it's actually a social media network built into the maps. So you could be driving around, just having the maps opened, and if you see a cop, if you see an accident or anything like that, you can report it into the app and other people that have the app then get the notification. So hey, there's a cop right here, I just reported it, now the person a few miles back knows, hey, there's a cop coming up, you should make sure you're not speeding or anything. And it's really nice. If you didn't know the app, go check it out. They have a new update to the app and it's supposed to make a lot cleaner and a smarter design. So I'm looking forward to using it and I recommend you go check it out. Anyway, moving on though, last week Apple updated some products that didn't have any event or anything, just did some somewhat silent updates uh, to the iMacs and also some accessories. So when it comes to the iMac, they updated the 27 inch 5K iMac with just some newer specs. So that's great. Now though, on the lower end side with the iMac 21.5 inch, now they have a 4K iMac, which is exactly what we expected. So now you're gonna have a 4K display on a 21.5 inch iMac. It's gonna have the top of the line i7 and i5 processors. Unfortunately though, this iMac only is gonna have integrated graphics, which is a little bit unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, these integrated graphics can support the 4K resolution, but it's not going to be able to support 4K if you're going to be doing demanding stuff like forget even trying to play any games on it, and I know games aren't for Mac, but you might even be struggling with video editing. I don't know, I haven't actually seen much performance, but I know when it comes to the 5K iMac, the new CPUs in it are going to be putting out roughly like 20% more power, and the 5K iMacs, the 27 inch iMacs, have AMD R9 GPUs, so they're set in the graphics department. Unfortunately, the iMac 4K isn't, but still, go check it out if you want to. When it comes to accessories though, there's a new Apple keyboard, trackpad, and magic mouse. All these products now have built-in rechargeable batteries, which is awesome, so I don't have to deal with like AA batteries or anything. All of them are supposed to have new updated Bluetooth technology, so they're gonna be more reliable and connect faster and all that. When it comes to the keyboard and trackpad, they both have this like wedge-shaped design, but it looks pretty solid. Unfortunately, there really isn't anything else different to the keyboard. I was really hoping for like backlighting behind the keyboard. Unfortunately, we do not have that. But looking at the trackpad, there's like 20% more room on the trackpad to move your finger around. There also is force touch built into it. Force touch is Apple's technology where it measures how hard you're pressing on the trackpad and other features on the Mac operating system will use force touch so you can maneuver your way around easier, I guess. Uh, and then in terms of the magic mouse, I don't think there's really anything different with the Magic Mouse. Anyway, guys, that is inside news for today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Also, check out the description. I'll hopefully have some useful links for you. Anyway, guys, my name is Eric. This is Tech Inside, and I'll see you in another video.